Uh, we started Piggy Vest in 2016, and it was essentially an answer to a gap that we found in the savings infrastructure here in Nigeria. So we realized that more people should be doing it. We're actually looking towards saving into actual wooden boxes, you know. People were making and keeping wooden boxes in their homes and putting money there. And this is despite the fact that the average young person in Nigeria has two bank accounts. So there was obviously something missing. And so we decided that we were going to create a digital form of that wooden box. And that's how Piggy Vest was born. Uh, it was initially called Piggy Bank, which is just the English word for the box. And so <laughs> what we started to do was just automate like saving of little amounts of money daily, weekly, or monthly towards a target for people. Of course, it's now grown into offering different micro versions of financial services from savings to investments. But that was how we started, just helping young people put aside very little amounts of money in frequencies that they control. That's incredible. And it was so early in the history of FinTech in Nigeria. Um, I heard a good story about how you actually had the idea, something about a New Year's resolution, yeah. is that right? So uh, in, on December 31st, 2015, there was a lady who had saved a thousand naira every day in a box all that year. And then she broke the box. She had 365,000. She put it on Twitter and then the tweet went viral. And my co-founder saw it and then brought that tweet to our group chat. And that was how we started to talk about the idea. 